Maureen approaches a nine-year-old boy in the middle of a triathlon baffling everyone present. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. Some people spend an entire lifetime wondering if they made a difference in the world, but the Marines don't have that problem. Ronald Reagan, 40th U.S. President, over the years, Marines have earned a reputation, and they deserve it. When kids say they want to be like them, parents have the right to feel pride in what their kid has just said. After all, their work is for their nation and for the welfare of its citizens. If you too feel gratified in this team of brilliant men and women who believe in doing the right thing for the right cause without caring for the consequences, this story will certainly bring you to tears. Every child deserves a little Christmas. This is the motto of Toys for Tots, a mission that is arranged by the U.S. Marine, a campaign that works to arrange Christmas gifts to underprivileged kids this is one of the most known campaigns of the Marine Corps. They have brought smiles to so many innocent faces, but the story we are about to tell you is certainly not about smiles and presents, but a lot more than that. So this incident took place at the Pensacola Beach in Pensacola, Florida, where a yearly triathlon takes place. It is again organized by the US Marine Corps and with the main agenda of kids' health and fitness behind this event. All the participants must be between the age of 7 to 15. The whole triathlon is properly managed by different teams of volunteers. That's where Matthew Morgan gets in the picture. So the whole event starts with the Gulf of Mexico because that's where the first part of swimming is covered. The latter two portions of cycling and running are continued on the closed roads and tracks near the shore. Matthew Morgan was volunteering the event and was assigned a position around one or two miles from the final finish line. Matthew Morgan was recently enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps. So far, he spent most of his life in San Diego, but when he received the confirmation letter from the Marines, he headed towards his first posting that was in Pensacola, Florida. He was assigned the post of Private First Class at Marine Detachment Corey Station. It was a one-year posting before any break, and a group of 22 students, including Matthew, was learning from its commanding officer, Captain Frank Anderson. It was his order to the team of 22 students to supervise the triathlon and make sure that all the participants stay on track and everything went on smoothly as per the plan. But only time will tell what was about to happen next, as it was not part of any plan. All the Marines prepared themselves for the triathlon a day before the main event. Each of the 22 students was aware of their places where they were supposed to stand and watch the event. They were in charge of the event that was going to be held on the next morning, and Matthew has always been the one who kept his work as his priority. The time was here, and Private Morgan was standing at the position where he was waiting for the participants to pass by. The kids were still completing the first phase of the triathlon, i.e. swimming. This meant there was still time for them to arrive at the spot from where they'll be visible to PFC Morgan. Eventually, the young kids reached there and it brought a smile on Morgan's face. Everyone was cheering for the young athletes and so was Morgan. Obviously, it means a lot for the kids to see their parents standing in the audience to support them, completing the triathlon and being among the first bunch of kids that crossed the finish line is one thing that everyone feels proud on. In this moment of joy, everyone was excited. The kids who just crossed the finish line were celebrating it with their family and the rest of the parents were still waiting for the kids to finish the race. And as they say, winning the race isn't what matters the most, completing it does. But there was one face in the audience that looked extremely worried. While all the others were eager to see their kids, one couple looked like an odd one out. Nobody knew what made them worry this much. Maybe they were just like that, over-caring types, but that's not what it was. This couple had their own valid reasons to be worried, and everyone was about to realize that soon. That's when PFC Morgan noticed something strange. He has to take action at the same time, and so he ran toward the track to take a closer view of what was going on. Yes, this was going to become an unforgettable moment, a moment of a lifetime. 
PFC Morgan was assigned a role to watch over the race and not to leave it unless he sees anyone breaking the rules. So what actually took place that made him forget his orders? Well, moments like this define who we are. It was a boy that grabbed the young soldier's attention. He slipped while running. PFC Morgan rushed to check on the boy if he was hurt or not, but when he reached there, he noticed that there was something extremely wrong. Ben Baltz, an 11-year-old, was lying on the floor and trying to fix himself up. When he looked at his leg, he noticed the real issue. I made it there first, and he had already regained his composure and was trying to fix his leg. I asked if he needed help, recalled Private Morgan. The kid was quite certain about completing the triathlon. Ben had been on the tracks ever since he learned running. The boy had a passion towards such outdoor activities, and this wasn't the first time he was running in a triathlon. No one ever gets it all in life, and same was the case with this little boy who was told that he was suffering from cancer. It struck him when he was six, and the doctors told him that they had to remove his right leg as it was affected by bone cancer. His fibula and tibula were removed, and this could have stopped the ordinary people from doing what they like, but Ben was never like that at all. Ben's parents have always been supportive of his likings. Thanks to their support, the little boy never gave a thought to give up. Once he got a mechanical knee and an artificial running leg, he got back to his sports life again. He got back to playing soccer and baseball, and triathlons were always his thing. Ben was performing greatly at the Sea Turtle Triathlon, and before this, he had completed two other triathlons. Even on the day he successfully completed the 150-year swim, and the four-mile bike ride. He already completed one mile of the race and was hardly one more mile away from the finish line. Ben didn't slip or something, but the screw of the artificial limb unbalanced and resulted in a loose screw. It wasn't his fault and Private Morgan knew this boy was not going to give up. He was still trying to fix his prosthetic leg so he could finish the triathlon. Ben said to the Marine, no, I just want to finish the race. And in the crowd, Ben's mother, Kim, was growing anxious about what was taking so long for Ben to cross the finish line. She later said, it was only a mile. I knew he was tired. I was like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Private Morgan wanted to help the little guy, but he couldn't fix his artificial limb too quickly. So he came up with an alternative method to help the guy in finishing his triathlon. But was it okay with Ben? Well, what happened next was a bit awkward for Ben. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to turn around and look at what's happening on the course, announced the host of Triathlon. That's when Ben's mother turned around and saw her son. It was an overwhelming moment and she couldn't stop her tears from flowing. It was just very touching that the Marines were there, said Ben's mom. However, it was one incredible moment. The Marines simply understood it as their responsibility. Captain Anderson said, We are selfless as an institution in the Marine Corps. Putting others before ourselves is second nature. Even other Marines joined Private Morgan to cheer the boy. As Captain Anderson said, it's great to see what Marines do, not leave anybody behind, is exemplified in the youngest member of our institution. But Ben wasn't taking it all correctly. Mrs. Baltz told that how it made Ben embarrassed that he wasn't able to cross the finish line on his own. But his mother went on explaining, the little one who was smart enough to know that no one standing there was criticizing him, but applauding his hard work and unbeatable spirit. We want to give him the message that he can do anything and he has an inspirational story, said Ben's mother, who wishes the best for her kid. And she knows it's just the start of a never ending struggle with life that Ben has to face. Ben and Private Morgan became friends after the incident and Private Officer had something to say about him. Private Morgan said about the little fighter, as far as I'm concerned, he finished that race. As long as he knows he could have finished it and wanted to finish it, that's all that matters. They both taught each other something that day. And Ben's mother had something to say too. We just want him to get out there and participate in life. Ben wants to be like the Marines someday. He heard of their generosity before, but on that day he got to experience it. In 2013, US Marine Miles Kerr accompanied a boy on a 5K race in Michigan just because the kid was left behind. He did it to keep the nine-year-old motivated and keep running. As he expected, the kid finally made it to the finish line. 
It seems these people don't need any sort of publicity or credit, for they call it their job. Doing one's job correctly is a responsibility. Even Miles said, as a Marine, we try to reach out and help as much as we can. I don't think I'm a hero. I was just trying to help.